Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. So here today we have a death that happened uh, Monday night. This was a long-term relationship and uh, she uh, gave him some space and uh, maybe gave him too much space she felt, came to check on him and she found him laying on, on the floor. All right, hi everyone. Uh, Ed and Chris of Spalding Decon, Southwest Florida. Uh, we're here in Fort Myers today. Um, we have a biohazard. Uh, we just received this call um, yesterday. Uh, so this is a kind of an urgent situation. Um, I guess fiance, husband had passed away. Um, this was a long-term relationship and uh, she uh, gave him some space and uh, maybe gave him too much space she felt. Um, and. Uh, to check on him and she found him laying on, on the floor. So um, cause of death hasn't quite been determined yet, but we'll keep you posted. Kind of very unexpectedly and uh, they were kind of living at uh, two ends of the house, two masters, and uh, so we're here uh, to kind of clean up the aftermath. Girlfriend is, is here and she's on site, so uh, Chris is working with her as we uh, coordinate with the with the insurance company and one of the first things we'll do is get the air scrubber up there it's, uh, uh, it's definitely got a, a pretty potent uh, smell to it so that's uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's going to be one of our first first steps here today mm -hmm. and who we have with us today this is uh rick cuevas rick cuevas it's your first day yes how yes. you feel are you excited are you nervous a little well, well. A little well. <laughs> that's fair i guess that comes with it uh and you're you're chris's brother right yeah. correct Awesome. <laughs> All right. We got a whole family uh, business it, going on now. Keeping it in the right. family. Exactly. Are you ready to get at it? We're ready. Let's All do right. it. All right. Let's go do it. We're looking for a cell phone and a brown cowboy's um, uh, ball cap. I don't know if it's a ball cap or, uh, cap. or just a hat of some sort. The cowboys. This looks just like a normal mask, but this is uh, this is where the virus started in there. Might be a little bit there. See the one that's out flying right there. Awesome. See, it looks like there might be some blood in there. Oh, yeah. See a light now? Probably thought this might just be feces, but there's obviously some blood in there out here, too. <laughs> Usually, you know, part of, part of that dying process is they vomit, they defecate, so that's why we're seeing a lot of that, but there is some blood in there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, what about the carpet? It is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll do just a little check over here. Yeah, it's all right. So we do have some bio on the bed right here. A little bio right here. Yeah. Ricky, what was your uh, first impression like? You ever seen a uh, leftover bio like that before of a, of a body? I used to do a lot of desert activities on motorcycles and stuff, so yes. Bag. 
That means the blood seeped in to this area right here. So when you do the extractor, if I'm just making sure we don't have blood, we're going to cut this out a little further. Alright, that's a pretty good. We'll get the... Can you get a little light? Okay, we'll cut, go ahead and cut that out. Okay, we have this vial here. We'll have uh, leaned against that or something with a hand. Who knows, maybe that was a shaving accident or something. Sometimes I gotta do it like, you know, one time, five times to keep pulling the, uh, so we'll see if it, if it still indicates. So you fill it a little bit here. So we're gonna, we'll cut this tack strip out, Ricky. So we'll pop it out. We got a little bit. Everything's in the toolbox. Yeah. We'll take a little double check like some of these areas here. All stuff must be sealed pretty good. Really worried about this pot there. <laughs> As we get closer to, you know, keep layering down, the thing we gotta watch for is like these edges, the grout lines, you know, the baseboard seems uh, to seep into that or not, you know, and they might have to remove it. The bulk of it was really like right here and, and then right here, so this, this grout area here is when I've been hit a couple of times because it, it seemed to have a little bit of a puddle, so if it seeped anywhere, it's probably right in there. I went up to get the kitchen to the front and we got to cut it out. So if we can't clean it to where it, it doesn't indicate, but you cut it on the surface, nine times out of ten, you, you, you know, if it's a porous material, you've got to cut it out. Or if it gets, like, behind or underneath, you know, you got to, you got to get, like, where, you know, the, the last trace of it. So that might mean remove whatever's on top to get whatever went underneath, just like we did here. <laughs> Now exactly what the deal is here in the story, I don't think it had anything to do with the particular death at the time, but so we're definitely getting some indication of all this. So this is something that becomes a bio for us to clean clean and uh, so we just kind of follow what what the indication tells us. And then everything we use right here for paper towels needs to go into the bio bin. I don't know what the story is here, but there's definitely some some blood in the shower. So there was something more to the story as far as him, you know, bleeding. I don't know if he was, uh, you know, uh, maybe a diabetic or he you know, was on blood thinners or something, but there was definitely a lot of blood going on here uh, on shit in the shower. So this, this will put it in the bio bag. We'll get the steamer with the little, uh, little round brush head and we'll, we'll get this, uh, Go around these grout lines to see if it's the, the yellow one? Yeah, Let's make sure it doesn't have any uh, indication. We're going to go out and try to, I guess I, the uh, owner had an accident with a candle, so we'll see if we can't. Uh, we'll get this cleaned up for him. So you're doing something with a candle that uh, that fell. Well, it was melted. Good. Yeah, she was saying he's been getting nose bleeds. So that's why nose, nose bleeds. Oh, nose bleeds. Nose bleeds. That's why there's blood on the pillowcases that we were finding and on the bed. Oh. Uh -huh. And that's... I think that's why it's in the bathroom. It's in the bathroom too, around the handles. And in the tub. On, and in the, on the tub. Walls. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. He was uh, getting this place. So our job today is going to be to go through and do the rest of the cleanup on, on uh, bio and uh, 
we have, we'll make sure that uh, all of our indications that uh, you know, anything that has bio on it uh, is, is handled. Uh, so actually what you could do, Ricky, is uh, let's get the, uh, the knives. We had some bio on the bed. We'll, we'll cut uh, those pieces out uh, on, the, uh, on the bed. I think we got all the bio. We'll, uh, we'll take a little bigger check here on some of the clothing and stuff that was laying around, but I think we're pretty good here uh, with the actual bed uh, mattress and uh, bed topping. Uh, I take that back. I think we got some uh, we got some indication in the rail. A penetration spot right here. Oh, good yeah, good. and a little penetration spot here, and it went into the got a little bit into the texture. Yeah, we're looking good. Okay. Uh, so this area is uh, area of concern. We've treated it about four times now. See, look at that. It's looking pretty good, huh? Yeah. So I think we can tell that uh, this, this tub was refinished before. You can kind of tell by the uh, uh, the finish uh, kind of coming off or turning to like a peak. There's a cowboy hat that they've been looking for. Got some signatures from 1988 on it. So, it's a memorabilia. I guess one of his friends wants the hat, so he tried to find it for him. Hey Ricky, how'd the first day go? It was alright. Yeah? It's kind of tough that it was on the second floor. Yeah? <laughs> like what's your background? What was your line of work before this? Uh, in the electrical field for 35 years before that, and before that a couple of years in the law enforcement. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So you've seen crime scenes before oh, or nothing? Yeah, yeah. When oh. the people are still there. And, uh, oh, okay. So even worse than this. Yeah. So here we are, Carissa Ned, Southwest Florida. Just wrapped up a uh, biohazard uh, job. We got the call yesterday. Um, we were here about four hours. There's uh, three of us here uh, working upstairs, uh, second floor. Spent the better half of the, the time cutting the carpet and checking the tile and disinfecting the, the bathroom. There was some biohazard waste on the floors and the carpet, uh, a little bit on the, the bed as well. Um, not real sure how long uh, he was there for. Um, she didn't seem to know, um, thought it was started to smell something because she's on the other side of the house. She came to check and, and she found him. Um, so while the guys were in there um, cleaning up, um, I was with the client. Uh, we reached out to uh, her insurance company. She was very thankful that we were there to be able to uh, do that for her. She really wasn't up for talking to them and explaining to them everything that had happened. So, and are you proud of your big brother, Chris? How are you I doing am. on his first day? He, his first bio. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, he was right. a little nervous. I could tell he was real quiet, but I think he did okay. I so. <laughs> Just did okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that. It was a baby bio. Yeah, so. it was a baby bio. <laughs> yeah. A little step into our world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in talking with the uh, the client, um, he had a, a history of uh, a heart condition. So it was cardiac uh, related. Cardiac arrest. Uh, and I guess there were some other you know health issues that, that he had. Uh, maybe some behavioral um, characteristics that, uh, yeah. that led to the health issues that... Uh, you know, kind of all, all piled on top of each other. Yeah. The client is uh, very, very uh, happy with, you know, where, where we're at right now. And, and, you know, I think the big thing is the assistance with the insurance. That just was something, you know, she wasn't comfortable with. And uh, so, you know, Chris has been working with the insurance company uh, while we were, you know, taking care of the, the, the scene. Uh, it's a very sad situation, but it's uh, also a great feel good because, you know, you could just tell she, a hundred pounds is off her shoulders mm -hmm. uh, right here, right now, just because of where we're at and, and once we reviewed everything with her. So uh, I think she's going to you mm -hmm. know, get her appetite back and uh, you know maybe maybe get some rest uh, 
it's been a long you know, few days for her. So. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that she shared with me, she goes, "I'm so glad that I reached out to you guys. You guys were definitely the right company." So that made me feel good. That's what we do. That's what we're here for. Until next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.